What is up, Kid Nikki signing in? L7 Society Square. What's going on? Let's get into this manga review of One Piece. One Piece. Chapter 760. Yo. What the fuck happened between Sabo and Fujitora, yo? Matter of fact, what the fuck is Fujitora's endgame, yo? I don't get Fujitora, man. I really don't. I, I, need, I need to see what happened in the fight. Because we get freaking uh, Koala yelling at Sabo. Tell you know, like, what, the, what are you doing? Do you ever think about what you're doing? You fighting the fucking Marines? An Admiral at that? So you want the... The <sighs> fuck the revolutionaries to go against the the fucking marines and shit, the war and shit, and so I was like, "Yo, it's my brother, all right, it's my brother." Then he has a little flashback, and Fujitora's talking all this shit. I mean, I know Fujitora know that he's in the wrong. I don't know what the hell Dofamigo has over him. Other than that, that Doflamingo's a fucking celestial dragon. I mean, I don't. I don't get. It. I mean, he, I know. I know he know that he did wrong. You know, what I'm saying, but like the whole thing with him, he's placed on a fucking gamble. I, I don't. I I don't like. My, my mind was blown. It's like I missed like three chapters in between this. I like. I don't get it. Um, we hit over to. King Riku in the in the the plateau where uh, I was about to say Diamante, <laughs> where Usopp and Kimon and Conjuro. I like to call him Udachi. I ain't calling Conjuro. Udachi sounds dope. And Hack and Viola, where they are at, because when we found out Usopp had hockey, all the villagers was about to. Fuck them. Oh, not fuck them up. They, they captured them. What have you. Um, yeah, but they decided to let them go, and they're like, yo, King Riku, we knew about Dolphin Mingo. Yeah, Dolphin Mingo's a bastard, you know. That he, he made you guys do what you did 10 years ago and shit, so now everybody, all the citizens are like, yo, King Riku, we'll fight for you. You're the king, blah, blah, blah. And King Riku's like, you know what? That's cool. Thank you, I appreciate it so much. And then Fujitora comes out of nowhere. It was like, oh shit, the Admiral. And King Riku said, like, yo, I, I placed my bet on Luffy. And Fujitora's like, yeah, I'm going to place my bet too. With some fucking dice. He's playing craps or some shit? Gambling? Damn. Like, he, I don't get it, all right? I hope Oda explains that. I mean, we finally got to the main battle, but then to pull some shit like this, like, I don't, maybe... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Fuck that part. We'll get to that part later. But, back to the main fight. So, we see an aftermath of Dolphamingo taking that Red Hawk in the gut by Luffy. Luffy's talking shit like, yeah, it hurt, huh? It hurt, motherfucker, huh? Well, Luffy's credit, you know, you gotta be happy. Dolphamingo's a bastard. A trolling bastard at that. Um, you know, Law's like, Look, he's still fine. Uh, you can't do the same trick twice. And Trayvon is talking shit to Law. It's like, because Law cut him up with that uh, radio knife. Well, yeah, Law. Law may not be like a monster, like a powerhouse, but Law's a tactician, dude. I, the more and more we see Law, the more and more I like him. I liked him for the jump at the... Uh, at the auction house part, I liked him since then, but as the story progresses and, pro and progresses, Law is dope. His powers is dope. That radio knife, though, where he cut up Trayvon, you know, I, I understand the pro uh, the properties of it, you know. Cut with sound, mess up the vibrations of the body so he can't put himself out together. And Trayvon's, Trayvon's probably a Logia type. Maybe. The way his uh, his powers are, his dove fruit is, he might be a logia. He might just be a logia. But even so, Law cut his ass up. And I don't know if Law. I'm assuming Law knows hockey. I mean, if you're a warlord, you gotta know hockey. 
except for fucking Buggy. I don't think Buggy knows no fucking hockey. He probably had like some weird observation hockey, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, uh, still, Trayvon is. He can still fight, you know, because he's dealt with powers and he's gonna like shoot a freaking snot, <laughs> snot play at Law, and Law use a injection shot at Trayvon, but try to. Dolphamingo gets up and kicks um, Law's attack to the side, and which shows that Dolphamingo really does care about his family. I mean, that's the only thing, good thing you can say about Dolphamingo. He cares about the, the, the Dolphy family, you know what I'm saying? Um, or that's a piece of shit. But he kicks uh, Law away, and Law's like, well, I'm not done. And he's about to fucking cut Trebo's head off. And Dolph Dolphy, you saw him like Wolverine, not Wolverine, but uh, Lady Deathstrike. Yeah, Lady Deathstrike, you know what I'm talking about. You know, with the hands, put some strings on the fingertips, and <laughs> put holes in Law, dude. Like up his upper area. Law drops. Luffy rushes in, Dolphamingo, Aris hockey his leg, kicks the shit out of Luffy. Like this, this, this happened all in one sequence. Law dropped. Luffy rushed. Dolphamingo, Aris hockey leg, kicked the shit out of Luffy. Luffy's sent flying. Dolphamingo uses his devil fruit. Behind Luffy's back, ties up Luffy's back. Uh, arms behind his back. Controls Bartholomew. Bartholomew slices Luffy. Luffy drops to the ground. Dolphamingo says, I hate being fooled. All in one fucking sequence. I get Dolphamingo that too. He's he comes to a fight. He's he's dope. He loves us, he loves his crew, and he's a dope ass fighter. Other than that, he's a piece of shit. But that makes the best villains, though. Um, yeah. And after that, you know, we get a little backstory how... Uh, I didn't really understand it. Maybe it's from where I got the the scan from. But uh, we get, like, the past of Doc Mingo Talking about his father. I guess his father was... His family was nobles. But at some point... His family tr uh, were traitors against the other world nobles, and so they live on the outskirts in hiding or some shit like that. And they wanted to be humble, normal people, and whatnot. And uh, Dolphamingo growing up, you know, was being a little bastard then, talking about slaves and oh, they disrespect world nobles. Give me a gun, pop, so I can shoot them. And his dad fell sick and felt ill, and at some point, he fucking killed his dad at the age, what was it, age eight? Yeah, eight years old, chopped his dad's head off and brought it to, uh, to Royal Nobles. And they said, fuck you, your family is full of traitors. And after that, he's like, fuck it. Then if, if I can't be Royal Noble, then I guess I'm just going to take over the world, period. And hopefully we'll get into more than that in the next chapter, though, but. Dolphamingo. Look, last chapter was dope with uh, the combination of Luffy and, and Law. It was dope. Don't get me wrong. But what Dolphamingo did, man, this negates all that shit. It really does. Because now they're back at square one. Matter of fact, they're worse than square one. Law got holes all up in them. Luffy's tied up and cut. And Bartholomew is still on some Pinocchio Chapello shit from Dolphamingo. So. Good chapter, though. Good chapter. I still don't understand the... Fujitora confuses the fuck out of me. He really does. Uh, at least Sabo's okay. Maybe he'll join in the fight later, hopefully. Or maybe they just dip out. I don't know. But... I don't know what the hell Luffy and Law is going to do. He gets Dolphamingo. Dolphamingo's just toying with him now. I don't know. But that's it. One Piece chapter. What chapter was it again? Seven sixty. Good chapter. Good chapter. Good chapter. Uh, well, I'll be seeing you guys next week. So y'all be good. Cause Nikki signing out. Bye bye. L Seven Society Square Bears. Y'all be good. Peace. <laughs>